Hi, and welcome to this quick tip video. In this one, we're testing out a headset from Logitech um, for a headset and microphone combination for use with Snagit as the recorder. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a library and just show you some library settings. This will probably take about a minute and a half or two minutes. So from the home page of the SharePoint native screen, I'm just going to click on the documents library right here. And that document library is going to come on up. And it looks pretty standard, just kind of like a SharePoint 2010 library would look in its uh, in its list view. So I'm going to go to Library, Ribbon, Drop Down Menu, and on the right hand side we've got Library Settings. So I'm going to click on Library Settings, and it's going to show me the settings available for this particular library. So we'll scroll down a little bit here. In addition to what you see here, you've also got what are called Rating Settings. If I click on ratings, it lets me turn on or off the feature for allowing the five star rating feature to be activated. So we'll turn it on. So we're going to allow items in the list to be rated. And then the second option here, which voting rating experience would you like to enable? And I'm going to say the star ratings as opposed to just uh, whether you like something or not. So we'll click OK and it's going to be done. If I go back to the documents list itself, actually into the settings for the view, give it a click on library, and I'm going to click modify view right here to take a look at the view settings for this particular list. If I scroll down a little bit, you'll notice in addition to the other columns I had selected for the list, I also have the rating, which is the one through five star rating, who rated it. And then this user ratings is just a count of how many people have rated a particular item in this library. So we're going to close this up, scroll up to the top, take the OK, and we'll take one quick look at our list here. And you'll notice in addition to the columns I had in this document library before, I have a ratings of 1 through 5. And let's go ahead and give it a try. So I'm going to give this a four star. So I'm clicking. And it basically applies it. Now normally you'll have a little bit of time for timer jobs and things like that that run in the background. So don't be too worried if you don't see the star rating locked in immediately. Give it a couple minutes and then the next time you refresh the list, which we'll do right now, let's we'll see if it's there or not. Okay, this is pretty fast. It's showing the fact that there's a rating and so far it's rating by one person. Now I'm going to go into this again. I'm going to make it a three star. Update the library list. And you'll notice it's changed to a three star, but it's only a one because it knows it was me. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and go back to the home page. And again, what we just did was we went into the library settings, turned on the ratings feature. And then we also showed you on the list view what column that can show up in in the list view. Thanks a lot.